Welcome to Saturn Day. Hello, welcome to Generational Gamer. J Prime here and Nick Listobri. And he brought me over something. I'd love to do an unboxing. You know what? Let's put it back together real fast. But he's already used it. And he seems to like it. What do you think of it? It's not too bad. How does it look in comparison to the Retro Tank, Genesis, Genesis. Hyperkin, that whole hodgepodge of stuff? Uh, nothing compares to that. It's a little you... bit of a cheaper way to hook up your Sega Saturn. This is probably it. Okay, so basically, you've got the box. And he's already pulled the cables out, but they're right here. And it's the normal center box requiring power. Just like the other ones of modern day, it's got the 4x3 and the 16x9. So we're going to set it to 4x3, but if we use the M Classic, we can shift it to 16x9. It shouldn't make a difference, but I guess that'll be a test to find out. And then, of course, the required power. So how about we give this a try with the real Saturn? Oh. The pins actually look legitimate. Like, they're not going to screw up like the ones that came with the Genesis model for the Model 1. Hallelujah. How about we take a look?
So final thoughts, it's better than composite, but nowhere near as good as the very expensive $295 alternative. What do you think? Oh, I definitely would go with it at this point. I mean, it's a cheaper way to hook up your Saturn and you can get it in about three days. Where'd you get it from, Amazon? Amazon. Yeah. So that's our thoughts. What are your thoughts? Leave some comments below and have a good one. See Bye. ya.